Hey guys, you're watching Vida Lada TV. Some weeks ago, I was asked if I know an alternative product which works like the Lee Liquid Alox. And the reason for this is Liquid Alox is very expensive here in Europe. I test some products and I found one which works similar. Uh, this product here is available in whole Europe uh, and in the whole world, I think. It's very cheap and it works the same way, in my opinion. Uh, the downside is you have the same sticky surface on the bullet if you use it pure. In the United States you know the 45-45-10 mix which is a receipt based on 45% of liquid Alox to 45% of Johnson's Pace Wax and 10% of Mineral Spirits. And with this mix you don't have the sticky surface and you have less smoke. And Johnson's Pace Wax is not available in Europe as well so uh, I figure out an alternative to Johnson's Pace Wax also and I want to show you uh, this method or this mix here in this video next. Um, to point this out, I used to powder coat or MCC coat most of my lead cast bullets. Uh, I used a liquid bullet loop here for my 45 ACP and for some 38 special loads and I like it. But normally I use to powder coat or MCC coat my bullet, bullets also. And if you are interested in, I bought a bag of uh, blue powder coating and I will test the Elvis ammo method next. But in this video here, I will do the alternative liquid bullet loop. Hope you like it. Okay, let's start with the product. I need an empty squeeze bottle some gloves in the background uh, this funnel here i need a glass rod and i need a scoop but the most important part here is the alternative to the liquid alox this here in this bottle is tech 506 eh and it looks and smells like liquid Alox. I bought this small amount here on eBay and maybe you can find it there also or you can find it at the local car garage. Is it right? I don't know. Car garage or car shop? I don't know. Okay, next we need a special floor wax and I've tested several and this one here works best. I put the link to the products uh, in the video description. If you can't find this hard floor wax, you can use uh, a paste wax for furniture, like this one here from Renewell, but the hard floor wax here works better. I think there is a higher amount of canova wax in it. Okay, last but not least, we need uh, mineral spirits. And I do the same 45-45-10 uh, mix like we know from the United States. Okay, and to do so, I will start with 45% uh, of my uh, floor wax. In my case, 90 grams. Then I will add 90 grams of the Tactool 506 EH and 20 grams of the Mineral Spirits. With this 45-45-10 mix, you make sure that the bullet loop does not smoke so much when shooting. And you've got a not sticky bullet coating. Um, straight liquid Alox or straight Tech Tool 506 EH uh, produce a little bit of uh, stickiness in this coating and with the additional wax and the mineral spirits you don't have this problem. Okay and here we've got the 90 grams of the hard floor wax and next I go to the kitchen and melt down this floor wax here. I will do this at low temperature and pay attention that the windows are open and the wife's not at home because even at low temperature 
it smells. I cook off the solvents. And while doing this, I fill my bottle with 90 grams roundabout of the Tech 506 EH. I wait until uh, the hard floor wax is cooled down a little bit and then I mix both. And last but not least, I add 20 grams of mineral spirits. Shake it and the liquid bullet loop is done. And like I told you at the beginning of this video here, I use a liquid bullet loop for my 45 ACP and 38 special loads normally. In this case, I've got some 30 color bullets for my 300 AAC blackout. And I've tested this bullet loop with my 300 AAC blackout uh, with subsonic and hypersonic loads and it works perfect. You only need a small amount, this here should be enough. And then put the bullet on a wax paper and let them dry for some hours. Okay guys, and this was my receipt for an alternative liquid bullet loop. I hope you enjoyed this little video here. If so, please give me a thumb up, leave a comment and tell me what you think about this video or about this bullet loop here. If you make it by your own and tested it. Uh, subscribe to my channel if you do not already have and thank you very much for taking the time watching my video. Hope I see you next at Vidalada TV. Before we start to mix at red, I uh, will show you what we need to do so. Safety first, so we are dealing with chemicals and therefore we need to protect our eyes. For this I've got some glasses. 